this video, we're gonna show you how to pair a KDC 200 Bluetooth barcode scanner with an Android device, specifically a Pixel 2. So the steps are the same, whether it's an Android device or an Apple device, we're gonna pair this in keyboard mode, also known as HID mode. And if you haven't paired it with a particular phone before, it's always a good idea to reset the scanner. Now to reset the KDC, first we need to turn it on. You can press the two buttons on the side. So the KDC is a little more customizable. It's hard to see, but there's actually an LCD or a display screen here. We've got the scan button on the front, and then we have an up and a down arrow. So it has its own menu. We can press and hold both of the up and down arrow. That will turn the device on, and we can kind of work through the menu if you need to do that. However, you won't need to play with the menu if you use this downloaded uh, barcode sheet. There'll be a link in the description or the comments below. First, it's, it's gonna be a good idea to reset the device. And the way to do that is we're gonna press the down arrow and the scan button for about five seconds until you see it kind of light up and probably beep. So there's the lights. And when the lights turn yellow, you can simply release. So now we've reset it back to factory standards, which is gonna mean that if anybody changed anything, then we're gonna be off and running. So th these scanners are great, they're very fast, they work well. The downside is if you're not incredibly tech friendly or you don't like messing around with a lot of options, sometimes you can get paralysis by analysis. So now that we're good, we're gonna set it to HID or keyboard mode, so we're simply gonna scan this barcode. We're gonna say make Bluetooth discoverable, or there's an option within settings to pair it to Bluetooth as well. Go to Bluetooth on your phone, go to more settings, pair new device, and give that a minute and it should pop up as well. So there's the KDC 200. There's usually not a code to enter to pair this. So simply give it a minute or two, a couple seconds, and it should pair. And there we go, we're connected. You can go into the settings if you want. You can set this as your input device, but we should be good to go. Now, whatever you scan into this app, whatever you scan with the scanner, rather, it'll simply transfer that over to the phone, regardless of what app you're using. So you can simply do it into your regular internet browser, or you can open a specific app and be able to scan very quickly that way. So the KDC is very quick. Again, it's a little more customizable thanks to the display screen. You can see that there's a battery indicator on there. Some people like having that. It feels a little more flimsy than the Opticon scanners, but it's roughly the same size, and you can get these refurbished for anywhere from 75 to 125 bucks, depending on the market. So it's, again, it's a very good scanner. It'll connect to Android or Apple alike. Um, one thing to keep in mind on an Android device, specifically a Google device, we wanna turn off any other external keyboards since this is paired as a keyboard and they can sort of cross wires and not interact nicely. So the way to do that is we're simply gonna go back to Bluetooth and we're gonna tap on the X to disconnect it. And then we should be able to tap right back on this and connect. So now we're good. It pops up with, do you wanna configure the physical keyboard? We're gonna come in here. There's an option called show virtual keyboard. If you turn that on and go back into your web browser and tap up in the uh, text box, it'll actually bring up your phone's keyboard. It's not a big deal. You can actually use that to type or you can simply scan a book into there and it'll still work. But every time you tap into a text field, your keyboard will be brought up. So the way to fix that, there's a little icon in the bottom right corner. That's your virtual keyboard. And you can simply say, turn that off. And now when you tap up in there, the keyboard stays hidden as you'd like it. And again, once you disconnect the scanner, that keyboard will come back. So we can either turn Bluetooth off and now the keyboard pops back up and we can use it as regular. So if you're in the middle of scouting and someone texts you and you can't figure out how to get your keyboard on, you can either toggle that to bring it back up, toggle the virtual keyboard, or you can simply disconnect the Bluetooth scanner. And that's how to use the KDC.